Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Badgers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. start of this game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Johnson has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. A senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. So the Badgers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. the 37-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. Marcus is waiting for the snap. Lewis takes it at the 33. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. Makes the catch and look out. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 34-yard line. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. tackled at the 22 yard line what we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers they make these plays look effortless passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in that makes it second and ten from the 22 yard line Second down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. And they make the stop at the 12. Third down. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike 47. Check, check. Play nine. Check, check 43. Laterals back. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. 
So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in Lawrence. And for Oklahoma State, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Redding, he showed why this aerial attack is so dangerous. Better than 400 yards passing. The Jayhawks roll by 19. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Jefferson deep to return. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Maryland's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Give to the tailback. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. That's 22, that's 22. Brought down right around the 34. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Takes the ball inside. He makes it to the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Loss of one there for the halfback. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. He makes it to the six-yard line. And for Green, that run just gave him 1,000 yards rushing on the year. Anytime a back has a year like this, it sure opens some eyes. And let me tell you, he's earned every one of those yards. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Watch 14, watch 14. That's what, that's what I do. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a game of five yards. That makes it third and goal. That brings up third and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. 
Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. They'll bring him down at the six. Well, sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are. You're not going to outrun that kind of pursuit. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Maryland. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Marcus has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Maryland is up by four. Whitlock gets a ball left side. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 37. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. You know, a new trend that we've seen the last couple years in college football is finding ways to get the big, strong, athletic tight end, the football in space. I love the design of the play by the play caller. The problem is the quarterback needs to throw the ball more accurately. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. With the pass, incomplete. From their own 11-yard line, second down. Fights forward to about the 13. Green comes away with two yards on the carry. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Lewis is back deep to return the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Lewis fields it at the 42. He makes it to the 45-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Maryland holds a four-point lead. Tackled at about the 37 yard line. There he goes. Gain 
gains his way to the 29-yard line. outside for a nice game. Tackle at about the 21. Gaining two yards. That'll bring up 32. pickup. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good hard running for the first down. From the 14-yard line. First down. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. his way out to about the six. Maryland is up four. And he's taken down at the so the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Maryland! And that's his second touchdown of the day. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he adds the extra point. A nice nine play, 46-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 14-3. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Green struggles here in the first half seem to have also impacted the entire team, and you would expect that, I guess, Herbie. They're really having a difficult time getting anything going now as we head into halftime. I mean, you hate to put everything on one guy and just put all the pressure on his shoulders, but in this case, it's clear to me that without him leading the way, this football team is just lost. And I think the coaching staff has got to be concerned. There's still a whole other second half to be played. But what kind of adjustments can they make to be able to make some changes here to the results here of this football game in the second half? First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Fires quickly and he's got his man. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. to the receiver and he's tackled at about the 41. Jackson picks up about five yards on that hookup. Wisconsin just took their first time out so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes the first down catch and he finds his tight end wide open. That's a great tackle at the 27. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over watch any 14, defense. Watch 14. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. Check. 
He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. Diving for extra yardage. the offensive line and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven play, 73 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Nice run there as they work the outside. We've played a half of football here. The Terrapins lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Lewis from the two. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Maryland is up by four. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. to his receiver, no good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. Just throws this one away, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Johnson to punt. Brought down to the 37-yard line.
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and five. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Tackle made right around the 32 yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Set. Line 80. Line 80. Brought down at the 31-yard line. That's good for a game. That brings up second to nine. Nice run there. Parker comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he just gets rid of it. yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. From the 19 yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 10. That brings up second and one. It's the ninth play of the drive. They run it left. He makes it to the nine. That's a deep one on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Stop behind the line. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Two down, two down. 26 mark, 26 mark. Ready, ready. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. I like the combination of speed and strength that this quarterback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. So here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. He's under some heat. To the end zone. Intercepted. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. It's first and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Maryland holds a four-point lead. 
He's pushed out of bounds at about the seven yard line. Two yard pickup. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end. So they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. He's to the 20. Makes it out to about the 30. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 33. Clark makes it at the 33 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Taken down at the 45. Throws, and it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Three down, three down. Mark 22, mark 22. Ready, ready. <laughs> the fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. Maryland leads 14-10. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 47. Stevens has the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. That brings us second to nine. Ready! He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle around the 30-yard line. That's a game of 16 that, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the thirty. Mike twenty-two, he's coming. Twenty-two, he's coming. Mike, Mike, let's go one more. Ready, ready. Makes it to the seventeen. Game number ten. First down. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a game of 13. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Taken down at the two. Gain of two on the play. That brings him second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He 
He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Pirates of ECU on the field in Greenville. The Pirates hammer that running game and score a touchdown. And for Green, he's now thrown for more than 200 yards. The Pirates are on top, 24-21. Separated by a field goal here, Reese, 17-14 in our game. Marcus has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. They have time on the clock, so I wouldn't rush things here. The important thing is to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Carpenter with the play fake. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Less than three minutes in the game. And he hits him hard at the 42. Push him out around the 39-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. That gives him the team's all-time mark for receiving yards. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent. And every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he could do something big. Setting up play action. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Fires that quickly, incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. one's going deep to the end zone. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled in the open field. Just under two minutes in the game. And a quick throw. The 10. situation here. It's third and one. He gets hit out of bounds right around the two-yard line.
touchdown, and they take the lead. Penalty markers down, they took too much time. And he hits the PAT. So a 14 play, 74 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Johnson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle made at the 31. Green's a guy that lives for moments like this. He's got a chance to win this football game for his team. Well, it's a crucial moment in this football game where one play could be the difference and really determine the outcome of this game. You've got to think the offense is going to find a way to get him the football and see if they can give him a chance to win this game. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. He airs it out. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Zips it to the back. Wisconsin's going to take their first time out of the half. to his tailback. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. 
Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Here comes the pressure, and he just gets rid of it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. Here we go. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. That's a great tackle at the 18. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call.
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squid it here. He's to the 20. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. I don't know if they have the time to go for the win. They've got to be sure to get into the field goal kicker's range and get the game into overtime. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession has given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he tackles him hard at the 39. Maryland's going to use their first time out of the half here. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. He sails it long. That close to being intercepted. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 24-21, Wisconsin. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.